Airbus just announced that the company is doing something that hasn't been done in nearly 40 years, building a next generation clean sheet narrow body aircraft. Not just another revamped Max or Neo, but a brand new narrow body airliner built fully from scratch. This new aircraft is set to enter service in the 2030s, but Airbus is in no hurry considering that its rival Boeing is currently begging the FAA to exempt its much delayed 737 MAX 7 and 10 variants from regulations on flight software. Last week at their annual summit, Airbus gave us a glimpse of the various cutting edge technologies currently in the works in order to make this new jet up to 30% more efficient than any airliner ever built. So what exactly are these new technologies and how will this narrow body of the future transform commercial aviation? Let's begin with perhaps the most important part of any plane, its power plant. Since the 1960s, aircraft engine fans kept getting bigger and bigger in order to make the engines more efficient, but there's only so far they can go. The 737 MAX pushed the limits of how large the engines can get for an airframe, and we all know how well that turned out. A much better alternative would be to just enlarge the fan and keep the engine itself the same size, which is what Airbus is proposing with their open fan design. At first glance, an open fan looks kinda strange since it's sticking out of the engine instead of being contained within a nacelle. However, this larger fan is projected to reduce fuel burn by up to 20% as it can suck in more air that can then get pushed out as exhaust to produce more thrust. But if the open fan is so efficient, why hasn't it been used on commercial airlines yet? Well, it almost was. You see, back in the late 70s, fuel prices shot up due to geopolitical tensions, so airlines desperately wanted planes with engines that would burn less fuel. In response to this, General Electric developed the experimental GE36, one of the first ever open fan engines. The GE36 was tested on a Boeing 727 in 1986 and even flew to the Farnborough Air Show in 1988, mounted under the wing of a McDonnell Douglas MD-80. Unfortunately, this open fan engine never made it to service since it was way too noisy and oil prices eventually fell. Fortunately for us, a lot has changed since the 80s. Thanks to technology developed in modern engines such as the GE90's composite fan blades, open fan engines can be designed to meet current noise regulations and cruise at around the same speeds as current narrowbody aircraft. Airbus and engine maker CFM are currently testing the RISE open fan demonstrator in wind tunnels in France and hope to fly it on an A380 testbed before the end of the decade. But a new engine is far from the only change Airbus plans on making. The playmaker wants to radically reshape the wings of its future aircraft. Throughout history, wings have gone from being relatively flat and straight to becoming more curved and streamlined, making them much more aerodynamic. Although today's aircraft wings seem pretty efficient as they are, Airbus wants to take them to the next level by looking at perhaps the most efficient wings ever created, those of birds. Birds generate all their lift and thrust simply through the flapping of their wings. Through their Wing of Tomorrow program, Airbus is developing longer and more slender wings similar to those of the Albatross. However, while these wings are more aerodynamic in the air, they can cause challenges on the ground. Airbus is currently developing some sort of folding mechanism on their wings to ensure that this new generation of planes can fit into airport gates, but whether that resembles the foldable wingtip seen on a 777X or goes beyond that remains to be seen. Last but certainly not least, Airbus wants to optimize the airframe itself. The materials used to build planes have changed dramatically since a wooden Wright flyer with fabric wings made its first flight more than a century ago. In the early decades of aviation, wood was quickly replaced with stronger metals such as aluminum. However, beginning in the 80s, plane makers shifted towards carbon composites, which are not only lighter weight, but also stronger. Now Airbus is exploring newer materials such as biomass composites and thermoplastics that could reduce weight even further, improving fuel efficiency. On top of that, the plane maker wants to upgrade the cockpit. The original A320 family was the first ever to feature fly-by-wire controls replacing traditional mechanical controls with digital ones. These digital controls not only made aircraft safer, but also more maneuverable. Now Airbus is looking to integrate AI into their cockpit in order to use real-time data to predict maintenance issues before they even arise. They also plan on adding new autonomous assistance technologies for both pilots and ground crews, although the specifics of what that might actually look like are being kept tightly under wraps. Whether it's open fan engines or longer wings or upgraded cockpits, Airbus's ultimate goal is to build a new generation of more efficient aircraft 
that can help cement its dominance in the narrow body market. But that's much easier said than done. Despite its own challenges, the 737 MAX continues to remain a bestseller thanks to its affordability and potentially quicker delivery times. Unlike the current A320neo family, it doesn't have a backlog of over 7,000 undelivered jets. And Boeing is likely to develop its own next-gen narrowbody after it figures out how to get its current MAX variants into service first. As of right now, Airbus definitely has the upper hand. But how effectively they can develop these technologies and how quickly they can deliver these jets to airlines remain to be seen. The future of their narrowbody aircraft depends on it. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video interesting, subscribe for more.